Alright, hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so, yeah, my name is Wes, I'm in Kappa Phi, I'm a senior. Um, I'm going to try to make this very short, very brief, and get to the point, but um, yeah. My goal is to kind of give you guys a little short testimony, and then kind of give some ideas of where I have struggled in my time in college, as well as maybe some encouragement for those of you that might be experiencing the same things. So, I was born and raised in the church, for any of you Methodists out there, um, you know John Wesley. I was actually named after John Wesley, so that's kind of a little fact about me. Um, but, and, yeah, yeah. Great, great story. Anyways, um, so I I grew up in the church my whole life. Um, in high school, I started kind of volunteering for my church a lot. I did the audio booth. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but I did that, and that was kind of my thing that I did, but it became more of a job than anything, and unfortunately, it started to affect my faith and my view of God and how God was supposed to move in my life. Um, through that, I didn't really have a strong faith, and um, I turned away from it a lot. Um, but in coming to college with that, I didn't have that strong relationship, and I was grateful to find Capital Phi. Um, and through that, I became a strong, stronger Christian than what I was, and I got back on track with my life and back on track with my faith. Now, you would probably think that'd be like the end of my testimony. I'm Capital Phi, so like I'm a perfect Christian, but. <laughs> As a matter of fact, some of the lowest points in my life have been while I've been in college and even surrounded by a Christian brotherhood. Um, I've struggled with a lot of sin. I have often more times than not not trusted God with my life, and that has affected me. Um, and another thing that has happened even in recent times, even in this semester, is um, I've, had a, I've had a bad habit of going out and doing things that you probably shouldn't when you were going out. Um, in fact, I question whether I should even come up here and talk, but the thing is that I feel like in being a Christian, right, like we all, we're all hypocrites, but a Christian recognizes the pattern and they choose to stop it because that's not what we're supposed to do. And so that's why I'm up here trying to give my story to see if you know, I can help any of you guys. Um, so with that said, um, first thing is uh, that obviously I haven't trusted God a lot. Um, I have many times just like turned a blind eye to what I should like if there was something in my life that was clearly not supposed to happen I've done everything in my power to make it happen that can be with relationships with girls with people with you know certain things in decisions in school or um, in my case in ROTC that I was that I thought was better for me um, and so it's brought me down a lot of dark holes. Um, I have dealt with depression. I have dealt with like suicide stuff, and it's just been a, a factor of my life. But in learning to trust God and pray and um, just you know give Him everything, that's what has kind of helped me out. Um, a lot of you might be experiencing the same things, right? Like we're in college, our future is unknown, and a lot of us tend to worry about things. Um, but the thing that's helped me the most is recognizing that like, God is your friend and um, sometimes you have to be the one to pick up the phone and call your friend in order to have that relationship. As much as it might be painful to do, you have to be the one to take the initiative. Um, so I hope that can encourage some of you. Um, and then as far as going out, right, like I've had, I've had, bad, I've had a bad habit of doing some things going out and um, I'm not saying to some of you that, you know, you know don't go out and have fun. But I would try to encourage you to just be mindful of what you're doing because ultimately, like, that's not the life that you want to live and that's not the um, path that you really want to follow. Um, and since doing that, you know, there's still ups and downs in my life, but I'm kind of on a better track of where I am and um, I've learned to trust God and learned to give my everything to Him. Um, so if there's one thing that I can leave, leave you with that is, me in my journey. It's that how can you know what's best for you for the person that created you in his image? Um, so, you know, with that said, like I said, very short, very brief, but if you guys have any questions or, you know, would like to ask anything, um, I'm here and I would love to share my story. So, uh, 